steady. It'll be all right. Pull yourself together. I suggest nobody else goes down there. We should keep the room intact until the police can get here. I shall alert them first thing in the morning. What an unfortunate accident. An accident? You think so? Just after the madman's son turned up at our door? And yet you were the one standing over her body with blood on your hands. How dare you? I was too late. I was trying to help her. She... she... <laughs> there, there, my sweet boy. Let's get you to bed. Angus, would you? Of course, ma'am. I think we will all benefit from a good night's sleep. I know you may have no reason to, but I need you to trust me. I'm the only one on your side when it comes to your father's death. Lady Margaret certainly isn't. But if I told you what I saw in the chapel, you'd have me in a padded cell just like my father. Why did you come here? To make sure my father was successfully in the ground? With all due respect, Mr. Gordon, I will not allow you to speak to me or about my work in such a tone. I tried everything I could to aid your father. Your father was heavily drugged when he was brought to me, to prevent any further violent outburst or so Lady Margaret had said. But something felt wrong, even then. I shall take my leave. Now, wait a minute. I found you in the chapel babbling about a drowned woman. Moments later, we found that poor maid drowned in her own blood. I think you need to talk to me. So, what was my father like when you locked him up? I didn't just lock him up. I tried to help him. He was convinced he was carrying some ancient curse that he was being haunted by evil. I wish I had reached him, had been able to reach him. Maybe if I threw you a bone, you'd get off my back. Father was obsessed with the history of the family for as long as I can remember. Did your father actually believe his family was out to get him? Who knows? I think what scared him was beyond the physical. He used to babble about a dark force threatening him and our family. Was that why he moved you to India? To get as far away as possible? I believe so. And yet, here you are, in the very place he sought to protect you from. Who knows? Maybe there is an ancient evil in this place. An evil that drags us back no matter how far away we get. Even from the other side of the world. And what do you think? Was your father right? Are there things beyond the physical? He was a disturbed man. He saw things that weren't there. Things like a drowning woman floating in thin air. If you really want to help me, then let us find out what the maid knew. She was hiding something, but was too scared of Angus and Margaret to tell me. You think whatever she wanted to confide might be connected to her death? Maybe. Whatever I saw in the chapel, it has to be real. It has to be. A woman must have drowned herself in the lock. Because if it's all in my mind, like father, like son. This dumbwaiter is huge. It is. It goes all the way to the second floor, but judging by the spiders, it's not used very often nowadays. The spiders? Oh, don't ask. This dumbwaiter is huge. Hit it. The spiders? Oh, don't ask. We need to examine the maid's body in the cellar. To find out who killed her? To be sure she was murdered before we start pointing fingers. This dumb waiter. Hit it. The spiders. Oh, don't ask.
I guess we'll have the key. Unless we can find another way in. Rory's not one for cleaning up. I think I might have an idea how to get into the cellar, but I'm not sure you'll like it. If it involves this filthy dumbwaiter, don't even think about it. You said you'd help me, so help me. On my terms. I can't fit in there and I see no other way into the cellar. Hmm. You're asking me to put a lot of trust in you, given the circumstances. You can trust me. And I will do my very best to learn to trust you. Mm. All right, then. Clothes can be washed. Lovely. Pull me back up! I need something to open the doors from the inside once I'm down there. This should do it. We need to examine the... To find out who killed her. To be sure she was murdered before we start pointing fingers. Going down. Good luck. See you in a minute. Uh, Dr. Farber. Is everything all right? Leah! If anything's happened to her. You needn't worry about me. I've been to stranger places than this castle. Follow me. Her neck's been broken, and with some considerable force, it seems. Her necklace looks like gold, albeit a plain design. And it's missing any form of pendant. Still, well beyond a maid's salary. It... Your stag is here, my little doe. Little doe? Not exactly the usual way to address the staff. Whew, where's that sudden draught coming from? How close. He ripped a seam open. We're all here, sir. All down in the dark. We're... Something's coming. The attic, sir. She's in the attic! What just happened? You look like you were in some kind of trance. Perhaps the lack of sleep is affecting me. Or the visions that you'd think me insane if I described them to you. You need to learn to trust me. I am on your side, remember? So you say. But I remember you locked my father up too. Tiger can't change its stripes. Ugh, that's horrible. You're not the one with your hand in it. French. I don't speak French. I do. It says for Clara, forever yours. Who's Clara? <laughs> I don't know. Yet another relative, perhaps? We should ask someone who's been around here for longer. How did you know it was there? The pendant, I mean. If I told you, 
You wouldn't believe me. A hunch. Eddie gave this to her. We should ask him to his face just what his relationship was with her. This isn't another ghost story, is it? Look, you wouldn't understand. I can't... What I do understand is that we could not accuse a man of murder without proof. It's labeled Mallory, as in Eddie Mallory. Recognize that? The necklace. Is that? A young Eddie and his mother, Clara. I regret to inform you that your husband, Corporal Victor Mallory, number 874511, was killed in action with the enemy on the day of the 14th of September in Ypres. Your husband was involved in an advance against enemy lines. While he and his fellow soldiers fell, the action was successful, and you can take comfort in knowing his sacrifice saved many lives. It was not possible to get his remains away, and he was buried in a soldier's grave. Please accept the condolences of all the company. Yours, Captain Arthur Jones, 4th Army. Thank you for your last letter. My heart soars with every word of yours I read. I touch the ink and imagine your fingers are just inches from mine. That we can almost touch. That I can almost feel the warmth of your skin once more. Young Edward grows more like his father each day. Dear to me is how he shares your looks. I long for the day that this terrible war is ended and you return home to us so we can be a family once more. I shall write to you again soon. Know that, until then, you are always in our hearts, your loving wife, Clara. The date. She was writing this when the death notice arrived. Oh, the poor woman. If you'd just like to wait out here, sir. I need to speak with Eddie. The young master and her ladyship are otherwise detained. Fair enough. Eddie, I need to ask you about the maid. About Elsa. You didn't know her! I know that you and her were... that is to say, I know you had feelings for her. What? That's poppycock! You're as deranged as your father was! David, really? You go too far with this behavior. The police will be here soon. Would you not prefer to clear this up before they get here in case they link Eddie with the crime? Now look here, young lady. How dare you speak? That's enough. Eddie. You gave her this. It was your mother's. Uh, I did. It was. Eddie! I was just trying to cheer her up. She has nothing, and I had no need of it. You know she sends... <sighs> you know she sent most of her money home to her grandmother. Her clothing was ripped, as if someone was trying to force themselves upon her. I would never have hurt her. My little doe. Strange thing to call the help. Uh, how? It was just... just harmless fun, that's all. 
You're a worthless liar. You think she thought being pressed against a dead animal was harmless fun? How do you know? It's true. Elsa and I... I would never have laid a finger on her. We were in love. I helped her with everything. Even with her chores. Uh, uh, Rose and... That's quite enough. Eddie, you are obviously upset. And you are not helping, David. Angus, will you please take the young master upstairs? As you say, ma'am. I think you have caused quite enough disruption here. We shall settle this heritage dilemma first thing tomorrow. I don't think so. I have more questions now than ever about my father, the maid, this whole damn house. Have a care, David. Need I remind you of your father's temper? I would never. Given the current mental state of Master Eddie, who should be a part of the heritage considerations, any discussion on the topic would be futile at this point. Would you not agree? <sighs> Thank you, Leah. Maybe it's a good thing you're here after all. Impudent brats! What's going on? Did you notice when Margaret got angry? When Eddie mentioned... What was it? Chores involving a rose. What, what does that mean? Something about the garden, perhaps? We could ask Rory. Or is it about the attic? Oh, I wonder. Whatever it is, it's something she doesn't want us to know. The attic? I saw the maid coming down the stairs with a tray. But there's nothing up there but an empty room. Interesting. Monkeying around. Come with me. I'll come inside in a bit. Don't go. Can I just have a few? It's not a request, girl. Don't worry. I'll be fine. What's happening to me? David? Is everything all right? We should make haste. Come and look at this. Look, they form a clear circle. This can't be a fluke. Well, it looks like one of the stones is missing. I have you enough stone to weigh yourself down with. I've never seen a rose like this before. I have. The gardener, Rory. He brought some down from the glass house. That's an unusual looking rose. I noticed one lying by the side of the loch. Aye, that's been me. 
A flower for the flower of Skahandu, Cecilia. My aunt? They're for her? I grew them for her. She loved the roses, did Cecilia. No, the red ones, though. Made her think of blood, ye ken? Forgive me, but wouldn't it be more fitting to place them on her grave? Why, she's no there, is she, laddie? That's not where she rests. And I don't much stand by your modern god. Rory, what happened to her? What happened to Cecilia? I'm not in the mood to open old wounds, laddie. May I have some of the roses, Rory? I'd like to place them on Cecilia's grave. What she to you? You didn't ken her. No, I didn't. But she's family. And besides, Father always spoke fondly of her. He would even smile as he talked about playing in the gardens with her as a child. He did, did he? Aye, well, that's good to kin. I should have some left in the glass house. I'll speak to you later, Rory. I am sure you will, laddie. Sorry, lassie, but you can't go in. It's for family only. Just hold on a moment. No, it's okay. I quite understand. You go ahead, and I'll wait here for you. If I must. I, you must. I know, it doesn't look like I have green fingers. Can you tell me about Cecilia? What was she like? She was a lovely lassie, but uh, she had more than her share of troubles. Grandfather Edward. You can well enough, son. You said she wasn't in her grave. Aye, that I did, that I did. Did she drown? She did. Killed herself. Her body was never found. Now all I have of her is my memories. And they are not what they were. And... this. That is exquisite. Cecilia made this. She made it, I, For me. Girl must have cut her fingers a hundred times doing it. On the thorns, you can. You are unworthy of the name, Gordon. Get away from her, you coward! <sighs> the saccateurs Edward used, they ended up in this corner. What just happened?
I could ask you the same thing. You started to talk to yourself. And then you were throwing your arms about like you were fighting something. I couldn't see what. You started bawling, and the lassie came in to see what was going on. She tried to settle you, but you just went for her. I saw an old lady. She wore a long, flowing dress. Her, her voice was strong, determined. Sounds like Rosemary. She was Lady Margaret's mother. Was Cecilia not able to have children? Did that anger Grandfather Edward? Maybe you can see well enough too, son. Maybe you can. It wasn't her. It was her husband. He was the bother. Couldn't... Uh, <clears throat> you can? I think so, yes. Aye, well, uh, Edward blamed Cecilia for it. For picking the wrong man for her mate. You'll be fine, laddie. You just need some fresh air. This place can get to you. I need to know if there's proof to what I saw. The secretary should be... Here they are. How can I know? This seems awfully accurate for a forgotten memory. The crack is right there. Edward was furious. Seems like him and great-grandmother Rose didn't see eye to eye. Trust your instincts, laddie. David, are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. I think this place is starting to get to me. I feel like the madness that runs through this family, through these walls, is, is starting to seep into me too. I can help you, but you need to open up. You need to start talking to me. Uh, you would not believe me if I told you. Stubborn, just like your father. I think that Edward may be responsible for the death of my Aunt Cecilia. Not directly. She drowned herself in the loch. I think that Edward drove her to it. Old families usually have a skeleton or two in the cupboard. Yes, but my family has a graveyard full. Whatever secret this family is hiding, it's costing lives. Cecilia, the maid, my father. We have to put a stop to this. We need to find out what happened to the maid tonight. What is it, David? I have to see. David, wait! You have to start confiding in me, David. What are you seeing? I can see echoes. Memories of those who lived here. I see my father as a young boy. He's trying to communicate with me. Perhaps you visited here as a child. Maybe you're remembering stories your father told you of this place when you were young. You see? I said you wouldn't believe me. If I'm only remembering things, how would I have known where to find a pendant? How could I have known he tried to force himself on her? Unless you think I killed her. I don't think you killed anyone, David. And you're right. I can't explain it. So? So, we focus on the facts as we know them. <laughs> Go on. You saw the maid's body. Her neck was broken. That was the work of a human, not a ghost, yes? I, I suppose so, yes. Lady Margaret knows more than she's saying, that's for sure. Godspeed getting anything out of that old hag. No, I know. But Eddie might be an easier option. Yes. Yes, we need to find him. And make sure Margaret isn't there to interrupt. I believe she's already gone to bed, but I'll check. You go find Eddie.
Well, that's clear enough. Oh, Sir Edward, you look very handsome today. Andy? Why, thank you. You're as beautiful as ever, my little doll. Oh, mwah, mwah. Self-made dolls. Ugh. The stuff of nightmares. Eddie, can you hear me? Or can you tell me about great-grandmother Rose? What did Elsa have to do? Eddie! What do you see here, Eddie? Be quite safe, the little rabbit said to his brothers and sisters. The fox is fast asleep. So rabbits tiptoed past. But the fox was sly. He wasn't asleep at all. He opened his eyes. I've warned you before to mind your place. This will be the last time you defy me. <laughs> The eyes of the fox they shone with cruel light as he punched on the rabbits and ate them all one by one. It was only then he went to sleep, his tummy full, his heart content. Pieces of some kind of drawing. How odd. A secret passage. What do you think you're doing? That won't be long, I hope. Look after Eddie. Just a little further. That's it. Open wide. Good. Good. I don't want any. That's all right, dear. Did I tell you that John St. David has arrived? He's as bothersome as his father. Not worthy of this place. Poor Angus will never recover from the sight of John's charred remains. Selfish, selfish man. Please. Don't. I do not enjoy this, as you well know, but you brought it on yourself. Your son was a good man. You should not have defied him. Rosemary. She's pelly skin and bones. How is she still alive? I found her in switch. It was in the bookcase. You scared me half to death. Well, you will insist on wandering off without telling me where you're going, and I just managed to avoid Lady Margaret when... <laughs> Jesus, God! I saw this. In a vision? Edward beat her with it. Used it to cripple the poor woman. Oh, my God. And he hung it there to remind her every day. Take it down. You're sure? Do it. Uh, 
Thank you. Thank you. Rosemary, I'm David, John's son, your great-grandson. Here, try this. No, like this. Gently. Who did this to you? It was... I was bad. I disobeyed. Disobeyed? How did you disobey? Cecilia. I tried to stop him. Stop what he was doing. What was he doing, Rosemary? Should not have disappeared. <laughs> not disturb him in the old wing. Never talk back. Rose! Rose! What did he do to Cecilia? I don't think you'll get anything more out of her. Poor woman. Come on, Lady Rosemary. We'll get you out of here. No! We can get you somewhere safe. I'm safe here. In this room. Safe from the black mirror. <laughs> the black mirror. Margaret has a lot to explain. I think we need to have words with her ladyship. Margaret, we need to talk about... Lady Margaret, if you please. Never mind that. What the hell are you doing with Rosemary? You're one to talk. You're just like your father, leaving nothing but fear and misery in your wake. What in God's name are you talking about? You spoke to young Eddie, did you not? Now he's convinced everyone is trying to kill him. He has taken poor Andrew hostage and is threatening his life. Where is he? He's taken him to the old wing, and he is armed. I'll go. I can talk to him. You will not. You two have caused quite enough trouble already. We? How dare you, when you continue to worship Edward, even though he drove poor Cecilia to drown herself? I will not allow you to... To what? To speak the truth? To say that Edward... He never touched her! You come here, and you... No, you. You are the one in the wrong here. You know more than you're saying, and we both know it. There's something in this place. An evil that has plagued our family for generations. Instead of blaming others, maybe you should look closer to home for the cause of your misfortune. You know nothing. What I did, what I do, everything, everything is for this family. How can you possibly understand? Please, my lady, we can discuss this later. Miss Farber, you need to speak to Master Eddie. Take us to him.
This way. Uh, have a care in the old wing. It isn't used, and for good reason. A section of wall fell into the sea some years back, and the rest is falling to ruin. Over there, sir. Eddie? No! No! They're after me! All of them! Trying to kill me! No! Please help! Eddie, look at me, Eddie, just at me. It's going to be all right. Stay back here. I'll try to reason with it. You will not. This is what I do. Eddie? Talk to me, Eddie. Tell me what's what? troubling you. I might not troubling me? He is! And I'm David! Him. They all are! They all are what, Eddie? He can't see Accusing me! This they think I killed her! The maid, you mean? But I didn't! I didn't! I believe you, Eddie. I believe you. Steady now. Stop wriggling about. You stay still. Let him go, Eddie. Everything is all right. Come here. Bloody fool. Bits of bone. Should work if I'm careful. Let's hope this doesn't snap under the strain. Andrew! Andrew, no! <laughs> 